Hello. Today we're going to review how to program your Gil Air Plus sampling pump. I will show you how to both program it manually on the pump itself and also how to set the program through your Sense9 Gillian Connect PC application. Today we are going to set a program on our Gillian Gil Air Plus sampling pump. We are going to manually enter a program to have the pump start on a specified date and time and run for a specific amount of time and then shut off on its own. To begin, from the main menu, you will arrow down to the Run Setup function. You will then select Enter to go into the submenu. From the submenu, you will continue to arrow down all the way to the function that says Program Edit and hit Enter to enter into this sub-function. We will now select which program we want to select. I've already established a program for program one, so we're going to go to the next program that we haven't set up a program for. In this case, I've selected program number three, and we'll hit enter to now set up that program. My first step is to establish which control mode I want my pump to operate in. I will arrow down one time to control mode, and now I can use my plus or minus key to set which control mode. For today's purposes, we'll leave it in constant flow mode, and hit enter, and now arrow down to the set point. The set point is your flow rate for your sampling event. Right now it's set at 2,000 cc's. For the purposes of our sampling event, we're going to change that to 2,500 cc's. So I will hit the plus key and hold that down until the value reads 2500. And I will hit the enter key one time to save that set point at 2500 or 2.5 liters per minute. I will now arrow down one time to my program step. Since we're just beginning our program, we'll leave it on program step one. We can now arrow down one additional time to function. From here, we want to set the first function of our program. Because we want it to start on a specific date and time, we will start by selecting date, hit enter, and arrow down one time. You will see the value with today's date in it, which you can alter to the date that you wish to begin your sample. For this purpose, let's set it to begin tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I've now changed it to July 17th at not, not July 17th, and I'll hit enter to save that date. You have to arrow down one more time to the save sub function, and now you'll see that it says changed because we made a change to this first program step. You want to hit enter, and that will save all the changes that you've made to program step one. To advance to program step two, you will arrow back up to program step and hit the plus key one time. This will set up program step two. To begin programming this step or setting the functions for this step, hit enter and now hit the arrow down key to function. The next function that we want to set up will be the time of day. So we will advance the time and hit enter. You'll see the value will automatically populate to 8 a.m. We will arrow down to value, and now we will change that by hitting enter one time and use the plus key to advance to 9 a.m. We'll hit the enter key to save that time, and now hit the down arrow one time, and again, you'll see that to save this step, we want to hit the enter key. When change has disappeared, your program step two is complete. Now, we want to set the runtime, so we will go up to program step and advance it to step three. Hit enter, arrow down to function, and now we will use the plus key until we get RT, which stands for runtime. Hit enter, and now arrow down to the value. The value defaults to one minute, and you can advance using the plus key up to the desired amount of time. 
let's say for our purposes today, we want it to run for 15 minutes. We hit the plus key to 15 and then hit enter to save that time. And again, you'll arrow down to the save function and you will hit enter to save step three. Lastly, you will go back up to program step, advance to step four, and it's already on the end function. This will end our program for that desired sampling event. We'll hit enter to save, go down to save, and now our program is complete. We will now back out of the programming menu, back to the main menu, and we will want to make sure that we arrow down to the run mode and check the program number. Right now it's set for program one, but since we just programmed program number three, we'll hit the plus key to set the run mode to program three. We'll hit enter to select that mode, and now we will go into our flow set and change our flow set to the 2500 cc's which we desire to run on our sampling event. Hit enter to save. At this point we can calibrate the pump and make sure the pump is ready to go at 2500 cc's. Once the pump is calibrated you now arrow back up to run and you'll hit the enter key. Your pump is now set to run its program. You'll see that it has four steps and the next available time and start date will set on July 17th. Your program is now set up and ready to run. Lastly, we are going to review how to establish a program in Gillian Connect and then transfer that program into your Gill Air Plus air sampling pump. Once you've entered into your Gillian Connect PC software, you will want to select Sampling Programs. Once you're into your sampling program, you will be able to set your program name. This gives you the ability to actually type in any program name, but you are limited to the number of characters. Eight characters is the maximum program name that can be entered. Once you've set up your program name, you'll now go over to your mode function. And again, you can choose from constant flow, constant pressure low, or constant pressure high. For our sampling event, we will call it constant flow. And we will set up our flow rate to be the 2,500 cc's per minute that we had set up manually. Similar to entering it manually, you'll start with program step one and you will select the function. We want to select date so it starts on a specific date. We'll have it start tomorrow, July 17th. To add the next step, you'll hit the plus key and it will add a second step. Now we'll choose the function to be time of day. We will set this program to start at 9 a.m. We'll now add step three by hitting the plus key in the lower right corner. We'll now select the function to run time for step three. It's now set to collect for one hour or 60 minutes. We can reduce that by changing the time and setting in 0015, which is 15 minutes, and hit enter. Lastly, we will end our program by selecting function end which will stop the pump and end the program at the completion of the 15 minute time period. Once we have this program saved, you'll see the program name and we will want to save program. 
To enter this program into your pumps, you will place your pump on the docking station. The pump will then sync with your Gillian Connect PC software and the serial number of the pump will appear on the right hand column of the screen. You will next go into the pump management program which will allow you to configure your specific sampling pump. You will select the pump that you wish to load the program to and then you will actually be able to select the program you wish to load. We just set up program 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So what we want to do is we want to load pump program selected in the list. So you will check the first box and then you will go over to the program list and you will select the program that we just created.